Hey, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Candy. Um, so I really um, did not have a plan to make this video, but I've been seeing this crap on my TL um, since fucking yesterday. Actually, I've been seeing it on my TL for the past two days. And so, you know what? I figure it is finally time to talk about it and give some commentary on this shit because it's been driving me fucking nuts. Now, this topic in particular hasn't just been coming from Xbox dudes or anything like that. It's been coming from a lot of PlayStation dudes or uh, neutral dudes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just been really fucking crazy. And like I said, I just wanted to talk about it because it's been driving me nuts. And I've been seeing it on my fucking timeline for the past few days. And I'm just like, why, why are people like why are they pushing this particular thing so fucking hard and it's something we don't fucking need so anyway you guys read the title so you already know what i'm finna start talking about and yes game pass i've talked about game pass on twitter a lot i've talked about game pass in several of my videos but you know what i guess i'm just gonna keep on fucking talking about it because whatever <laughs> but anyway so um, this conversation in particular on Twitter was about basically, like I said, it wasn't just Xbox dudes that was pushing this shit. It was also like PlayStation dudes and neutral dudes pushing this shit too. And I, I'm just scratching my head wondering why the hell are so many people pushing this so fucking hard? So, I mean, my thing is like, I've been saying on Twitter for a fucking long time and, um, recently if you just started to follow me or whatever that game pass was something that microsoft didn't just like come up with the kindness of their heart like they didn't just give you guys game pass because they felt like it like they were fucking successful in the game department or whatever they gave you guys game pass okay which when i said this shit on twitter it pissed a whole lot of people off like a lot of dude it pissed a lot of dudes off and a lot of dudes try to say that i was triggered and this and that and da -da 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 -da, which i don't understand how i can be triggered for basically telling you guys something that's already fucking common knowledge like we all fucking know why microsoft came out with motherfucking game pass because a lot of the fucking games that you guys hop on twitter and cape about and you know you fucking put up against sony playstation exclusives or other games or whatever are games that you niggas ain't even supporting yourself so it's just so fucking odd that you know, y'all can hop y'all asses on Twitter and just be like, you know, listen it on, on your big fucking list of games. But at the end of the day, you ain't really fucking supporting the developer or the fucking game, which doesn't make any sense to me. Because at least if I'm going to be over here caping for Naughty Dog, I'm going to be over here fucking supporting their games. and Or Sony Santa Monica, whoever, you know, I'm going to be fucking supporting the games. So, I don't know, that's just me. But, like I said before, yeah, I mean... Game Pass was not something that Microsoft decided to just give everybody because they were very, very, very successful. They gave it to you guys because they they themselves felt like you niggas wasn't doing a, a good job at supporting the developers that they have acquired, which doesn't make any sense to me when you guys, like you guys, I want to throw this in here real quick. Like niggas, Xbox dudes are the most hypocritical, confusing bunch of fucking stands I've ever come across, my nigga. So these niggas, okay, seriously, leave me alone with this shit, bruh damn computer so these niggas basically get excited when microsoft acquire uh bethesda and publishers and blah 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 and they're all excited about exclusives and da 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 but these are the same niggas that gave playstation hell for uh having exclusives and you know uh doing third uh buying exclusive third-party content or whatever when microsoft are doing the same shit it doesn't make any fucking sense it's like how can you guys fucking give everybody else hell about fucking exclusives but here you motherfuckers are over here getting excited because potentially bethesda is going to make the exclusive fucking games I don't know, that's just some hypocritical shit. And you guys really shouldn't even form your fucking lips to talk about anybody being a fucking hypocrite when you niggas have been hypocrites since the motherfucking 360 days. Period. But anyway, the whole Game Pass situation is fucking ridiculous. And it's even more ridiculous that are, there are so many fucking people trying to push this shit and try to make PlayStation fans fucking care about it or try to say this is something that Sony needs to fucking do. When at the end of the motherfucking day... We got we got PS and now. The only difference between uh Game Pass and PS now to me is that Game Pass 
they get all of their fucking exclusives day and date, period. Sony don't do that, okay? They just, it's just whenever the game gets pretty old, then boom, it's on PlayStation now. It's whenever, you know? It's not day and date. Because why would they need to do that? They're fucking successful. All of their games fucking sell, which is why the fucking um, $70 uh argument doesn't make any fucking sense because you guys are sitting up here saying well i don't know why sony is charging this much and because sony a lot of this shit sony can fucking do because again they're fucking successful they're in the most fucking almost the most fucking successful gaming company right gaming big publisher ta -da 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 -da, like out there right now so i mean i'm not saying they should do it but you know they know that Sony knows that we'll support the developers that, you know, we'll support all of their developers, we'll support all their projects, their new IPs, all of that, you know? Typically, we, you know, PlayStation fans are very, very fucking good at supporting new IPs and new ideas, you know? So that's why they can do all of this and take so many, you know, as many risks as they do, because we were very supportive. They may have a few uh, flops here and there, but at the end of the day, it's the fucking good games that always overpower the bad games, and for Microsoft, it's vice versa. So, yeah, like I said before, Game Pass, I'm not saying it's bad. Matter of service, I tried PS and down one time on my PS4. It wasn't my thing, so I deleted the shit off my PS4, and that was it. I really am really, I'm really not a huge fan of services like that. So, um, I, I don't know. It's like, again, you know, I just don't like the fact that so many people are trying to push it on us. And like I said, it, it's not just Xbox dudes that's pushing this shit. It's also PlayStation dudes, some PlayStation dudes, and also, um, neutral dudes who, like, you guys need to ask Sony for this and you need to beg them for this. Like, again, why? Why do we need, why do we have a need to even need to do that? And why are you guys, like, suddenly so, so pushed to, to try to make us beg Sony for something we don't fucking need? And nothing, something we're not even going to fucking utilize. Because like I said before, PlayStation fans are very fucking good at supporting these fucking games out here. We're very good at that shit. It's just Xbox dudes who fucking aren't. Because like I said, they hop their ass on Twitter and all they do is cape about how many games they got and studios Microsoft got. But Microsoft have sat there for fucking years and barely, if at all, utilized half the motherfuckers. So what good is it to have all these studios up under you but at the end of the day, you ain't utilizing none of the motherfuckers. Like, they just sitting there and they just making all this fucking garbage and, and when we're used to them making this and that and here they are making this and it's like what the hell is this you know so i mean at the end of the day it's microsoft that need to get their shit together there's been too many generations it's been too many goddamn excuses that y'all keep making for these niggas and y'all know they need to, they need to hop on their shit and y'all know deep fucking down inside that game pass is not the end all be all that you try to make it out to be it's really not okay it's a fucking go it's a fucking go. You make love to the PlayStation. You fucking fuck the Xbox and you go. That's it. I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's just like, <laughs> that's just the feeling I get out of that whole situation. Like, it's just they don't have anything worth sticking around for, you know? You play and you go. Okay, that's just point blank, period. So like I said before, stop trying to push this shit on PlayStation fans. If we say we don't fucking want it or need it, we don't fucking want it, and we don't fucking need it. Like, and stop trying to make us say, oh, well, it's a good service, or da -da -da -da. okay? I mean, yeah, okay, if it's a good service to you, then okay. But don't try to say all PlayStation fans should think it's a good service, because we don't fucking think it's a good service, or not a lot of us are fucking fans of fucking services, game services. Because at the end of the day, I like owning my shit. Point blank, period. I've been about that for fucking years and some people think it's fucking terrible to still be all about physical games and shit like that but honestly i don't give a shit i like the feeling of owning my shit and saying when i could just go pop a game in my, my console and keep it moving i don't have to worry about if that game is gonna just you know just fucking disappear off that subscription service and just fucking you know go into oblivion you know if i ever will fucking see it again you feel me so i like the i like the fucking idea of owning my shit that's just me okay personally but anyway I don't know. That's just me. Um, personally, like I said, you know, you guys need to get off your fucking high horses and stop trying to push something on us that we don't fucking like and we don't fucking need because like I said before we support our shit over here on the blue side so there is no fucking need for any of this bullshit to be quite honest and with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and end this damn video thank you guys for supporting me tuning in all that shit because I'm loving it and I'm just like so fucking grateful like you guys are fucking amazing bro like fucking amazing and I don't thank y'all enough but <laughs> I want to thank y'all now <laughs> but yeah Chuckin' the deuces, baby.